Okay, are we ready? Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go to the Lord in prayer, and then uh, I'll start reading from uh, Exodus 12. Yes, sir, I'm going to read from Exodus 12, and I'm going to stop, uh, I'm, I'm going to stop at 14 will be my last one, or, or 15, I'm, uh, yeah, 14, so I'm going to read 1 through 14. Okay. All right. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Father in heaven, we come to you this day, Lord, and I want to lift every, every soul that is in front of me up to you this day, Lord, and I pray that you would be Begin a work in each life, that you would begin a transformation in each heart and each mind. Lord, I pray that your word would rest in their hearts this day, that they would hear you and hear your call, that they would depend on you, that they would know that the gospel is the good news for everyone, everywhere, and that they would continue to live in your ways and they would continue to spread your word. And it's in your holy and precious name of Jesus Christ. We pray. Amen. Ex Exodus 12, verse 1. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in Egypt, This month is for you the first of months. You shall make it the first month of the year. Speak to the whole community of Israel and say to them, On the tenth day of this month, let each man take a lamb or a kid for his family, one for each household, but if a household is too small for one lamb or one kid, then the man or his nearest neighbor may take one between them. They shall share the cost, taking into account both the number of persons and the amount of each of them eats. Uh, your lamb or kid must be without blemish, a yearling male. You may take equally a sheep or a goat. You must have it in a safekeeping until the 14th day of this month, and then all the assembled community of Israel shall slaughter the victim between dusk and dark. They must take some of the blood and smear it on the doorpost and the lintel of every house in which they eat the lamb. On that night they shall eat the flesh, roast on the fire. They shall eat it with unleavened cakes and bitter herbs. You are not to eat any of it raw or even boiled in water, but roasted, head, shins, and entrails. And you shall not leave any of it till morning. If anything is left over until morning, it must be destroyed by fire. This is the way in which you must eat it. Ah, man. This is the way, I'm sorry, I'm back, <laughs> sorry about that. This is the way in which you must eat it. You shall have your belt fastened, your sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and you must eat in urgent haste. It is the Lord's Passover on that night. I shall pass through the land of Egypt and kill every firstborn of man and beast. Thus will I execute judgment. I, the Lord, against all the gods of Egypt, and as for you, the blood will be a sign on the houses in which you are. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. The mortal blow shall not touch you. When I strike the land of Egypt, you shall keep this day as a day of remembrance and make it a pilgrim feast, a festival of the Lord. You shall keep it generation after generation as a rule for all time. Amen. Are you...
so what we read today was the first Passover, and it's significant as God looked down on his people and seen them suffering. God had a plan of redemption for his people. As the Hebrews were slaves in Egypt baking bricks, he told them specific instructions on his plan of redemption. The scriptures record 4,000 years ago God telling his people to spread the blood of a sacrificed lamb on their doorpost and he would redeem them from their slavery, from their, their suffering, that he would take them out of that land and bring them to a new land. He, he specifically tells us that we are to celebrate this uh, until, for every generation until the end. And that is exactly what we are doing here today. We are remembering this, but there is a difference in how we remember and how this happened the first time. The, the good news is that we no longer must kill the lamb and spread his blood on our doorpost. God himself sent himself as a lamb to spread his blood on the walls of our hearts so that we would never be enslaved again by the world or by man. Jesus Christ is our lamb that was slain to free us from the enslavement of this world.
our instructions are the same. We must believe in Jesus Christ and what he did, and we must be ready to obey his call whenever he comes. We must be looking for him to come. We must be ready for him to come. To the, to the young ones that are listening to me, that are watching me, I want to say that the shoes that have been provided have came from God. They are a blessing from God. I want to ask each of you that each time you put on these shoes, you look for the Savior, Jesus Christ, to be returning that day. If your shoes are on your feet, you are looking for the Messiah to come and redeem you and free you from this world, free you from the sins, free you from this this suffering for a moment and bring us to freedom for eternity. I, I want to close I want to close by just saying that each of you are in our prayers and we love y'all and we we our hearts go out to y'all and we look forward to meeting with y'all many more times and uh, look forward to fellowshipping with each of you and it's been such a, a a blessing to be able to talk to you today and I thank God for this this huge honor and I want each of you to know that you are each very special in the eyes of our Creator and you are each very special in my heart and uh, this honor is just too much for me to even comprehend. Thank y'all so much. God bless y'all, and I, I do appreciate y'all listening uh, to the good news of Jesus Christ, and keep it in your hearts, and spread it as much as you possibly can, whenever you can. But thank y'all so much. Uh, hey, Sonny. I see him. I got you. Thank you.
Bye. Thank y'all. Love y'all. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, oh, it, you know, I was just, I was, I was just going to say that, you know, just like, just like in Exodus, God is not slack on his promises. And that promised land is just on the other side of this time that we're in right now. And that is, that is the key, is we're looking towards that promised land, and we're looking towards that Messiah. The God did it for, he did it 4,000 years ago, and he's about to do it again. So let's be ready each and every day. And that's all I had, brother. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll let you finish up and, uh, and call me later, okay? Oh. Okay, perfect. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. All right. Bye.